Hi Pisces, how are you? Welcome to your energy update from January 13th, Monday through January 19th, Sunday. So next week, oh Pisces. So I've laid out one card for each day of the week and we are going to clarify. So Pisces, for you on Monday, we have the five of wands. So there's some sort of conflict, some sort of competition. Something comes up, um, some sort of disagreement. Um, in the workplace or you know whatever situation this could also mean you know some some conflict in in, in time wise or, or or something to do with that you know it's Monday when people are getting back to work dealing from um, things of last week or from the weekend so let's see why is the five of wands here what is this what is this conflict could be small conflict doesn't necessarily have to be big some rivalry between you and someone let's see here why is the five of wands here five of wands from Monday Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Monday? Why is the Five of Wands here for Monday for Pisces? Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Okay. So Pisces, you could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Um, or some sort of air sign here. So Pisces, you could have some conflict here, you know, with someone that causes some sort of ending in a situation, okay? Maybe you walk away from a situation with someone, a client, um, you know, some sort of vendor that you're dealing with, okay? You're feeling like you can't manifest a situation here. Um, you know, you're feeling like, you know, you can't make the best out of this situation, out of these resources. Like, there's nothing to be done here, okay? Like, someone is here not putting their part in a sense. They're almost being a little deceptive and, 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 and conniving, okay? Someone is trying to manipulate something, could be. So I feel like um, you're walking away from a situation that, you know, there's conflict in. You're effective, effectively moving on from it. On Tuesday, we have the King of Swords. So this can make you feel, again, um, you know, some things coming up. A little ruthless, okay, could make you feel, could make you feel a little power crazed in some sense, okay? King of Swords in the reverse is, is beyond stern. Um, you know, almost just uses the intellect and... Um, you know, not in a good way. It doesn't work for the person. It could be that the situation from Monday is kind of going around in your head. So let's see. Why is the King of Swords here in the reverse? Card flipped over. Why is the King of Swords here in the reverse for Pisces on Tuesday? I thought I saw the moon in the reverse. Could Okay. No, I guess not. So King of Swords in the reverse for Pisces. Why is the King of Swords here in the reverse for Tuesday? Tuesday. King of Swords for Tuesday in the reverse. The moon in the reverse. The moon in the reverse. So Pisces, um, I feel here like you are coming out of some sort of mental instability, okay? I feel here like you are starting to see the truth in some sort of situation. Things are being revealed, okay, to you by your through your intuition, through these lunar cycles. And so you spotted that conflict and then you saw that you needed to move away from it. So you're kind of being a little ruthless in the way that you do something. But it's just because something was exposed to you here and um, you are in this air type of energy, okay? So Wednesday is uh, eight of swords in the reverse you're mentally entrapping yourself from a situation you are setting yourself free from you know this this mental um you know these thoughts this mental anguish whatever you know was keeping you mentally trapped why is the eight of swords in the reverse here for wednesday for pisces eight of swords in the reverse for wednesday for pisces eight of swords in the reverse why is the eight of swords in the reverse for wednesday here for pisces eight of swords in the reverse Yeah, so uh, something, a, a slowdown, some sort of, of, of uh, slowdown in something. Maybe you're slowing down communication with someone, okay? Why, one more. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, you're coming out of your head, okay? You're, you're coming out of this mental anguish and you're deciding to plan, okay? Move forward in some sense here. So there was an ending that made you maybe feel a little ruthless. Some things come into light, um, you know, getting your footing back again and then coming out of your head about it, okay? And then on Thursday, the Eight of Wands here upright, okay? So you're moving forward, okay? It, rapid movement, okay? Um, taking action, Things, things happen at a rapid pace, moving forward, right? Communication, maybe. Communication coming in. Let's see, why is this, what, what, what is this Eight of Swords? I'm sorry, eight of, eight of Wands on Thursday for Pisces. Eight of Wands. So Thursday could be a busy day for you. Thursday could be a busy day for you. A lot of movement. 
tower and six of wands in the reverse. So some sort of shake up. So the shake up here could be getting communication from something, some communication that shakes something up that maybe doesn't go in your favor, that isn't victorious, feels kind of like a little bit of a, a punishment in some sense or, you know, not a victory. What is the six of wands in the reverse? What is the six of wands? So the high priestess in the reverse. Why is the high priestess in the reverse here? Why is the high priestess? So someone repressing, something is being repressed here. Some, some feeling like someone has lost their inner voice. Why is the high priestess here? Okay. Yeah. So there is some sort of shake up Pisces, all right, on Thursday. There's movement, there's communication, right? There's some sort of communication that doesn't feel like a victorious communication in some sense. It doesn't feel like that. Why? Because someone is repressing their feelings. So you could get some sort of um, communication from an emperor type person that you're dealing with. Okay, someone structured here that may be some sort of job or some sort of contract or something didn't go as planned, okay? Or, you know, didn't go through. Or this could be that, um, you know, someone here, like the emperor communicates but doesn't really offer anything because they're repressing their feelings. So it's like, they, they, they maybe reach out but don't really say much and you're still kind of left disappointed in some way. So let's see, Friday, the King of Pentacles, really uh, focused on your abundance, wrapping things up from the week here. Why is the uh, King of Pentacles here for Friday for Pisces? King of Pentacles for Friday for Pisces. The Empress, the Empress, Pisces, love that. So. Your abundance is your abundance growing in some sense, okay? Your prosperity growing in some sense. So this could be a, a, a day that you plant some good seeds, Pisces. Maybe you speak to a couple good clients. Something good happens on Friday here, some expansion in some sense. All right, so we had the two of cups and the five of uh, cups. So I'm not gonna take those because I didn't really ask anything and they kind of popped out here. But I'm getting that, you know, on the other side of that, um, this some sort of uh, earth sign or some sort of just business person here focused on their finances is, is really feeling down, you know, feeling grief about you. But let's see. Let's see. One more. Why is the Empress here? Empress here and the King of Pentacles. Empress here and King of Pentacles. Judgment and the Hierophant. Okay, so some sort of decision some sort of decision, maybe, you know, some sort of earth sign or something, um, you know, makes some sort of judgment call. Maybe they get some sort of intel, okay, some sort of intuitive intel that they maybe want to commit, make things more structured, or this could be some sort of decision that goes in your favor that really affects your finances, okay, that takes you kind of to a next level in some sense. So anyway, some sort of decision or some sort of call that... Uh, take make something more committed and, and allows for growth in some sense. Okay, that could be in your business with a person or whatever Pisces Saturday we have the lovers. Okay, so maybe there's you know, some love is spurring here um, Between you and some person. Let's see here. Why is the lovers here? It could be that on Saturday You're just really balanced within yourself Your this the aspects of duality could be dealing with the Gemini Why is the lovers here for Saturday for Pisces lovers? Which makes sense, right? Probably going on a date on Saturday. Temperance. But I don't know if it came in the reverse or not, okay? So, I put it back. But if it was in the upright here, temperance is uh, healing something. Some, some healing, some balance coming in in some way. If it was in the reverse, then, you know, kind of the opposite of that. Well, let's see. The lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here for Saturday? Okay, so there's a new passion here. Someone maybe comes to the realization, someone external to you, Pisces, that maybe in order, if it's just within yourself, Pisces, in order to get balance within yourself, you're really gonna have to put in a lot more passion 
and an inspiration. Find some ways to make yourself passionate and inspired in order to be able to continue to cultivate, to see the progress in what it is that you're, you know, fulfilling or, or the seeds that you're planting, okay? Also, this could be someone external to you coming to this realization that they, um, you know, are getting passionate about changing the situation around with you, okay, where they haven't seen the progress. One more. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Lovers. Saturday. It's three, but okay, we'll look at them. Sun, Hangman, and Four of Wands. So yeah, there's some sort of victory here. Some sort of, someone has seen things from a, a different perspective, okay? Some things have been illuminated, okay? The fact that, you know, some new passion, you know, some inspiration here. Some This is what was rejuvenated. So there, there's some sort of celebration here in, in perspectives and in someone wanting to, to get together, celebrate something. Something was looked at from a different perspective. Something was illuminated. Something about the fact that, Someone needs to put in more work into something, more passion, more inspiration, okay? What is the moon in the reverse? Moon in the reverse here for Sunday. So again, coming out of this instability, things being revealed. Gaining your composure again, gaining your footing. What is the moon here in the reverse for Sunday for Pisces? Moon in the reverse for Sunday for Pisces. Moon in the reverse. Moon in the reverse for Sunday for Pisces. Moon in the reverse. Knight of Cups. So someone coming out of some sort of mental instability. Wow. Okay, this is interesting. Knight of Cups. Someone comes out of some sort of instability. And you would think that this cup is what this cup is right here, right? Maybe someone wanting to... Um, bring some sort of romantic gesture to you but your cup is maybe you know you're not wanting to look at cups right now maybe your cup is 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 not full so you're keeping to yourself right now pisces let's see let's clarify what is this ace of cups in the reverse ace of cups in the reverse or it could be that because you're following your your uh okay ace of cups in the reverse Okay, Ace of Cups in the reverse clarified by the Five of Pentacles. So someone is feeling left out in the cold, right? So someone is coming out of mental instability, regaining composure. Someone maybe wants to follow their heart to be idealistic, but at the same time still feeling left out in the cold, right? Could it be like the duality within yourself? Let's see. What is this Knight of Cups? Or this could be literally speaking to two people. Yeah, Pisces. So someone wants to come towards you I feel through this process there's a, there's a small little gain there's a small win in this week in regards to someone that you're dealing with emotionally right someone maybe wants to come towards you and offer you this cup but you you know this cup that's being offered to you now you're kind of like your arms crossed like you know what I don't know I don't know right because all I can remember is how it made me feel so again, maybe you're focused on other things right now. You know, you're focused on your self care because you've been working a lot. So someone, someone is is, is regaining their composure and, and really seeing things logically, right? And uh, not wanting to accept any any cups right now, or, or not wanting to. You're kind of skeptical about some offer. So let's see here. Let's see here. Let's go around from Monday at through Sunday with the Oracle cards and let's see. Actually, let's do them with these. Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday. I hope this is making sense, right? I guess it, it makes, it's much more confirmation when you watch the video at the end of the week and like, oh, okay, that's how that played out, okay? Interesting. So Monday through Sunday for Pisces. Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday for Pisces. Clear messages. Clear messages on Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday for Pisces. Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday. Let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, bottom of the deck, patience and planning. So Pisces, on Monday, you know, with the five of wands and this ending and you walking away from someone that was manipulative, you, you, you still have hope. There's still hope in, 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 
and you, you know, and something good happening for you. Now on Tuesday, when you had the King of Swords in the reverse with the moon, right? Some secrets coming. We have the moon here twice, by the way. So some secrets coming out, some things being unveiled to you. Okay, stand your ground. Again, with this King of Swords, you're you're kind of standing your ground. It could be a little ruthless at that, but you're standing your ground in regards to something, okay? Um, on Wednesday, when we had the Eight of Swords, right, coming out of your head, okay? You have planning, or I'm sorry, movement decisions and choices, okay? Also the Two of Wands. So you're making some sort of decision, some movement, okay? Movement in, 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 in regards to something. And then effectively on Thursday, when we had the movement, the Eight of Wands, right? You have obstacles, challenges, obstacles and challenges. And this is when we talked about, right? Interesting, this is very interesting because on, on Thursday was when we talked about the tower, the tower and, and something feeling like there's, it, there, there isn't some sort of win for you, okay? And maybe some, some little, some little shakeup, maybe in regards to your money, you know, or, or someone, you know, um, here. So interesting that obstacles and challenges came up with the tower and then the six of wands. So some sort of shakeup that um, you feel isn't, you know, victorious for you. So um, on Friday, again, when something is growing, the judgment, the hierophant, the empress, and the king of pentacles, look at that array of cards. We have destiny, destiny. Faded, things are faded here. The lovers, okay, so now I'm, I'm seeing that the lovers, Pisces, is maybe an aspect within yourself, could be if you're not dealing with a person here. So you're really maybe addressing some shadow aspects as your person maybe is as well. They're addressing some shadow aspects within yourself and really getting more in touch with the, the passion and inspiration. So you are able, you know, some things are being illuminated to you, some shadow aspects of yourself that have maybe, you know, hindered you from some sort of celebration, okay? And on Sunday, passion ignited, right? With the moon, okay? Some things unveiling itself, following, you know, some sort of... of um, emotional pursuit, okay? So being idealistic in some sense, despite feeling dissatisfied, despite, you know, possibly uh, feeling left out in the cold in some sense. We're going to have to see how this plays out. Good stuff here. Good stuff. Let's, let's get um last message to wrap this up. All right. So the first that I saw was storm warning, right? Storm morning, and we saw the tower on Thursday. You guys are gonna have to let me know if around Thursday there's some sort of little storm warning, right? But I'm I'm seeing that whatever shakeup is is happening here on Thursday, Pisces for Friday, it's it's like a, a a judgment call is made in 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 your direction, okay? For you, some something some judgment call turns out in your favor, right? Okay. Then we have so how I'm seeing. How I'm seeing this right the strategy was in the reverse but this storm warning in some sense and again we just got out of the cancer moon right cancer full moon so now now the 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 moon is wanting waning wanting that's not to, do I always say that wrong anyway so you know the moon is, is getting smaller and smaller until we um, get to the new moon, right? So maybe throughout this week, you're dealing with some, you know, uh, mothering, nurturing issues within yourself in some sense, and then you have some sort of illumination. So this could be a storm warning in regards to some emotions, you know, or, or some emotional turmoil coming up, but it it's it's all for growth, right? The king of pentacles here. I'm I'm seeing that this is going to make you really strategize how you haven't been doing again, um, really ignite some passion in you, okay, that's gonna make you take action in some sense and is gonna bring you some sort of victory. And again, and if I think you and your person are kind of mirroring each other, towards the end of this week, you know, or maybe next week is when your person maybe some reaches out because they just can't take it anymore. Like this this little storm warning is 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 pushing you into action, right? So, Pisces, that is what I have for you guys. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that someone made sense. And you guys are going to have to let me know, okay? See you.